Hello and welcome to another edition of Black Nat's Black Legion blog. Today um, I'm going to post about spraying models. Um, I'm going to base coat them uh, and so I can start to paint them. I've gotten a little more of the build done which I will showcase later uh, but I have still have I'm at a point where I can progress um, now with the painting. Uh, I do this, I jump around a little bit in army construction in order uh, so the quality of uh, whatever I'm doing doesn't doesn't wane as my attention wanes. So I still have a few infantry models to build, construct, but I was getting really rather uh, bored and tired and I think one or two of my my melted gun poses suffered. They're pretty static. Uh, nothing's too special about them. Um, so I'm going to switch over to painting. I'm going to take a quick opportunity to um, mention something about what I use to, to base coat with. Games Workshop and other companies put out spray uh, It's or primer. Um, it's pretty expensive but I find that this works if you apply it right um, just as well. This is a dollar, you know, 93 cents or something like that and the other and GW stuff is ten dollars. The GW stuff is by far much better. However, it's not ten times better so um, I'm not running around. I paint a lot. I don't want to spend ten dollars a can and have it run out. The white, um, it's arguable. I've made Golden Demon entries with white, cheap white spray paint as my base primer. However, should I have used the expensive? Maybe. Who knows? But anyway, um, so I'm gonna go outside and I'm gonna demonstrate techniques on how how to spray. Um, I use I've done auto body like when I was a teenager and that was a long long time ago but however I do understand and and use the principles of constantly moving um, the spray I don't know, which I'll demonstrate here in a minute when we go outside but I wanted to take this opportunity to um, introduce you to what we will be filming thank you so hello everyone we're welcome uh, to stage two um, all right, first things first. Whew, I want to make this quick. You see it's pretty cold outside. This is the spray can I'm going to use. Uh, first things first is shake your own money maker. Um, you can feel the, the, the solvent inside and um, what's diluted, uh, you know, the paint. Um, but you can feel it. Once it starts to move around, you know, just give it a nice good shake. Um, I want you guys to take it to close attention to see how I have them all laid over on their backs. Most people just take them and set them up. I don't do that. At least not. That's not my first. See, most people just spray them good, um, standing up, you know, all topping around and get them nice and good. But then always, you'll when you look from the underneath side of the fig, looking up, you can see that it's um, that there's parts missing. So first things first. Whew, it's freezing out here, which I I don't find there to be a problem, even though it's windy. So it's going to take a little more spray. Um, but one thing I do is I always move. Uh, my spray keep it moving if you hold it still that's when things get gunked up and I do you shouldn't be in any particular hurry it ain't gonna get you anywhere especially with spraying on See, looking from here they've all got it. well as well as you can see but then you take them and you look down or you turn them over or look down um, so I turn them over on their backs give them another coat I give them as many coats as they'll need um, you know small coats you know don't don't sit and spray constantly keep it moving it's important um, there will be like spot spraying in the end where you hold it in one spot but you'll just give it a real brief tap and then, and then move on so And I'm holding it pretty close to the fig right now because the wind's picking up and it's 
and it's hard for me to actually get coverage on the model but normally I would hold it pretty I mean if the wind wasn't howling I would hold it you know I don't know maybe let's see maybe six to twelve inches away maybe at least eight inches away I guess it'd be a good okay guys um, I've already gotten two coats on them so now I've done the front laying flat now I'll do then I did the back now I'll stand them up like most people do in regular and I'll come all the way around them shooting down from the top or at least generally to the top direction so I'll get them all stood up alright guys um, this part uh, I'm just gonna really tell you how to be this is all this this particular type of art is all about thoroughness so that's why I'm going at such straight great lengths so when I've, I've sprayed them given them time to dry you know significant uh, I brought them in out of the cold normally I wouldn't bring them in out of the cold to inspect them but you know comfort obviously. so looking here some of the you know how well are they done do they need to be touched up and I can tell you yes because I don't know if you can see um, any of this but, but down here it's not quite the coverage is not perfect uh, and this one in particular all right, you can see um, kind of that it's not coated really well you know a little bit of graininess here and stuff like that it's just not a good coat it just needs a couple hits uh, a couple blasts from the spray can and it's gonna be good to go um, but that that's why I do I, I really pay attention you look you look down here in between the backpack and the back of the head the neck um, you look underneath the arms um, on the, the lower side of the model you know looking at it up like this you know why not be thorough look back in there you can see that it, it's not complete well you probably can't see but you can see that it's not um, it doesn't have a nice even coat you know if you want a championship army if you want um, an award winner if you want something that you can go and compete at a decent level with um, then you need to be thorough at every aspect of this you know let's see, let me look at this Okay, guys, this is um, the final post, and this is just more to to recap on what we just went through. Um, first thing, choice of, or the importance of base coating and spraying your figs. Um, I think it's absolutely crucial that you um, base uh, or primer your figs. Second off, the choice of primer. GW, I mean, GW isn't the best product, but that's the only one I've used. Um, comparative to just store-bought cheap spray paint. I use the cheap spray paint for cost. Um, thirdly was motion. Constantly keeping the spray can moving when you're when you're spraying a fig so it doesn't hit and run. Um, another aspect would be um, the different positions that I use to spray them in. I lay them flat on one side, flat on the other, uh, coming both up and down and then standing up and getting them you know from top down and you know getting them that way uh, the order is not important uh, you know so uh, do it however you like but um, that is the post so that excuse me that is the post for um, basing your or uh, spraying and priming your models thank you